Miss Pantry and today I'm doing another crock pot collaboration video. Uh, this is Whip It Up Wednesday and we're going to give you a stuffed acorn squash in the crock pot. Absolutely fantastic and so easy to do. So if you like these kind of videos go ahead and give me a thumbs up right now and go down below in that about section and you're going to see um, the names of the other gals that I'm collaborating with and that's Mandy from More to Life, Tina from uh, Wilhelm's Kitchen, Lisa from Sutton's Days, and Heather from The Needy Homesteader. We're all in collaboration and we're all inviting you to make your own Whip It Up Wednesday video and put a link to that in the comment section of one of our videos and we will link it to our playlist. So that being said, I am making stuffed acorn squash for, well, one or two people. Um, it's only me, so I've, I can have this for dinner and this for lunch tomorrow or dinner, either way, in the crock pot. So what I've done here is I've browned off a pound of sausage. Now, I don't need a pound of sausage, so this is gonna actually give me a couple of recipes. Um, so I wanna get that out of my cast iron pan, and I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna use this pan, so. I'm only going to use maybe a third of this sausage in my mixture and we'll we'll see what goes on. Okay, so in, in the same cast iron, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a little bit of a stuffing. And I'm using some cornbread stuffing, bread stuffing that I have. So I need some, I love onions, I want two tablespoons, mm, yeah, two tablespoons of uh, rice, freeze dried onions. I need celery. I love their celery. I don't have to worry. And I love celery in any kind of stuffing. So I don't know. It's that five tablespoons. And then I want carrots. A heaping tablespoon of carrots. And then Thrive's cranberries. Freeze dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. And all of these items, I've got my website down below. I'm going to do three tablespoons. Yes. <laughs> of cranberries. And I just got um, from my Black Friday sale, my box came in and I ordered the beef bouillon. Um, it doesn't have any MSG, it's non-GMO, and um, it's lower in sodium than the stuff you get off the shelf in the store. So I've tried it, it's delicious. And I'm gonna use that. I've made up some here in my cup, so I want at least a half a cup. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use I'm gonna use a whole cup of the beef bouillon because I not only have to um, refresh these vegetables, which they're gonna be refreshed here before I even get this to the stove. Um, I want it to be able to uh, saturate the bread stuffing. So now I'm gonna put a good tablespoon of Butter. And I use Kerrygold butter for um, stuff like this. Uh, and now let's go over to the stove. I'll bring you with me and we'll see how fast this goes and how we stuff our acorn squash. Okay, so here we have our stuffing mixture. And if these were raw vegetables, and you could certainly do that with fresh vegetables, uh, you know, you would saute them until they became kind of soft. These are freeze dried, so they refresh and they they refresh to the state of a frozen vegetable, so that's your texture. Just absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this bread stuffing in there. I don't want it too heavy with bread, but um, maybe yeah, that might be a three fourths of a cup. And then, yep, need some of this sausage, and we're going to give it now yeah, maybe a third of that sausage. So we'll definitely have a couple more meals left from that pound of sausage. I will probably make up some um, breakfast egg uh, scramble egg cups with that. And it looks like I need a little bit more water. Just a little bit. So let's grab some water. And just to finish off the bread stuffing, because I don't want it to be dry. Okay. Now let's go over and, oh, it smells so good. Let's go over and stuff those acorn squash and get them in the crock pot. Mm hmm yum. Oh, I need some seasoning though now, don't I? We better put some poultry seasoning in there. And I have the new stuff 
from Costco that I get. And I'm just going to put some of that down here. Even though the sausage has sage and all that, I definitely want some poultry seasoning. So a little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to put any salt because the bouillon has salt. The sausage has some salt. The rest of the stuff is just one ingredient. The celery is just celery. The cranberries are just cran... Well, there's a little added sugar to the cranberries. Not much, though. Okay, let's stuff our squash. And we might have a little bit extra stuffing, so... Might have to do this again. All right. I'll meet you on the other counter. Okay, so we've got our acorn squash all prepared. And what I do is I cut off the bottom on each end so I've got a flat surface to sit on. Um, and you're going to give this stuffing right in there. Mm, don't miss any of that cranberry. And it looks like we have way more stuffing than we need, but I like these overstuffed. So if you're with me, you're probably an overstuffer. I want them heaping out of the top because uh, this is a meal. So, okay. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Ugh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get the other one closer and yes. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be the perfect amount. I thought I'd have some left over, but I'm glad I don't. This is the perfect amount for these little acorn squash. And you could, you know, jump this recipe up or down according to how many people and how big your squash are. Because it's just me, you know, I'm really, this is a recipe for one or two people. One, if you're eating squash the next day. Two, if you uh, are having a meal together. And, okay, that looks about right. So I've got my oval crock here, and I'm going to put down a half a cup of water. Because you don't want these to dry out. You want them to stay nice and moist. And you're going to place your acorn squash right there. And look how beautiful that fits. Perfect. Now this is the two and a half quart. I'm going to leave a link down below to these. These make wonderful Christmas gifts, you guys. And I gave both my daughter-in-law and my daughter um, these last year and very much appreciated. So on goes the lid. I'm going to put this on low and it's going to go the rest of the day. That will cook slowly and um, when I get home tonight, I will have dinner and I will bring you back and show you how delicious it comes out. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day. I just got home from work and the house smells amazing. I have the most wonderful dinner. Check this out. Oh, oh see all that steam? Can you see all that steam? Hmm. I don't know if you could see that, but it smells so good. Now, it's still got a little bit of liquid in the bottom, so that's good. You don't want to necessarily run that crock completely dry. You know, there's probably only a tablespoon or so. So I'm going to pick the smaller one because I've already decided I'm going to share my, my little food venture with my girlfriend at work. I told her I would bring her lunch, and she was very excited. So let me get a couple pictures, and we're going to dive in and taste it. Okay, so, yum. Oh, I think this has cooled down enough. So here we have just the stuffing on top here. I'm going to kind of get right in that, that squash just came out so soft and perfectly done. And you didn't have to heat up the house to get that to happen. And you didn't have to come home and try to rush and put this in the oven for an hour. Mmm, I'm excited. Mmm, oh my gosh. I'm going to need a spoon, I think, for this, but that is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. And you could certainly use Thrive's sausage crumbles if you didn't have sausage. I just happened to have a package that I needed to use up out of the freezer. And so this is definitely a delicious meal and such a great thing to have on a cold winter night or a cold fall night. I guess it's still fall. <laughs> Anyways, one more bite for YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Oh, so good. So this I inspires hope. you to go ahead and try this. It is so easy. 
It came out absolutely perfect. I love doing it this way. And you could actually make a great holiday meal using the bigger um, 9 by 13 casserole crock. These are fantastic. So I'm super excited. This is delicious. I can't wait to go finish. Anyways, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know and down in the comment section below if you've ever made stuffed acorn squash, because if you haven't, oh, you need to do it. And the only thing missing, I think, I should have put some pecans in here because it would have been fantastic as well. So go down in the about section below if you're interested in any of the Thrive. It really helps my channel out and helps me out immensely. So I appreciate any purchases and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. Bye.